Okay, today for our insider scoop, we are going to feature broccoli. Here's some of the questions that I've gotten in the past. So why do you grow this plant? So this is an amazing vegetable and everyone likes it and the CSA can't get enough of it, so I keep growing a lot of it. What varieties do you like? I like to grow a variety called Pac-Man. It is a short season broccoli that has heavy side shoots. I'm having trouble finding the seed anymore, so I'm experimenting with other short season, heavy side shoot varieties. So how do you grow it? I like to sow it in a seedling flat four weeks before I want to plant it in the garden. Then at two weeks, I transplant it into two inch pots, and then I can plant it in the garden between two and four weeks after transplant. I then plant it 12 to 18 inches apart in a raised bed filled with sandy loam soil. What time of year do you grow it? I grow broccoli in the raised beds from February until November. Does it grow inside or outside? It can be grown inside the greenhouse when it is cold outside and outside in the raised beds once the weather warms up. So how do you harvest it? I harvest the tight flower buds twice a week as long as the plant is in production. How do you preserve it? I blanch and freeze the broccoli. Is this a good plant for beginners? This is not the easiest plant to grow. I would say it's more for an intermediate grower. Does it have good yield? Yes, if you get a broccoli plant that has heavy side shoots, you can get almost as much weight a week off the plant as the main head. How bug and disease resistant is this vegetable? There are two bugs that like broccoli. For the aphids, we spray with organic pyrethrin once a week and if the aphid population grows, we spray twice a week with it until the infestation drops. Monitor the plants weekly for aphids. For the cabbage looper, we use BT or Captain Jack's dead bug brew once a week from the time we see white cabbage looper moths in the spring until our third hard frost. If you have not tasted how sweet and amazing homegrown broccoli is, you should give it a try. You will be happy that you did. To learn lots more about easy, productive gardening, tune in to the High Performance Garden Show. You don't want to miss out. The show features a 128 square foot vegetable garden that can produce over $2,500 worth of garden fresh veggies with only a 15 minute a day commitment. And we'll show you everything that we do in that garden for a 33 week growing season. Along with the upcoming season, you can also watch the last two seasons. That's over 110 hours of gardening education, totally for free. Soon we will be starting the next season, which will provide you with 33 more weekly episodes to get you even more garden tips and techniques on how to grow a high performance garden in your backyard. So sign up today, start learning. It's totally free. Start your garden season off right by going to thelivingfarm.org slash high-performance-garden-show. Until next time, may your garden be easy, fun, productive, and always organic.